Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. In today's video, I want to share with you one minute scalping strategy that will change your trading results. And in this strategy, I have some rules before even we go into it and I want to take you through the rules. There are six rules and uh, if you follow it, you can start immediately using this strategy. So without wasting any time, let's get down into the video into the video so our one minute scalping strategy has the following first of all i've tried this strategy on some pairs you know i love trading gbp audi gbp usd gbp jpy but it seems this strategy sometimes it does not respect these pairs but when i try this strategy on euro jpy i find that it's going smoothly so this strategy first try it on euro jpy yes you can try on other pairs but i see i find it working on euro jpy um smoothly the other thing is that use 30 minutes time frame to analyze your charts you need to use a higher time frame you cannot just go to one minute and analyze the market you need at least higher time frame and in this case we'll be using 30 minutes time frame the that thing use one minute to enter the trade that's why it's one minute scalping strategy because in your one minute in one minute uh time frame that's why you'll you'll get the entry and then number four we are using price action no indicators in this strategy we don't have any indicators we don't have any moving average we are just using price action and i will show you in a moment and then number five if you want to um you th use this strategy you need to master high highs and high lows for buy opportunities and number six if you want to use these strategies you need to master lower lows and lower highs for sale opportunity so for you to understand this scalping strategy you need to know you need to identify a high highs and high lows or low lows and low highs and if the, the uh, let's say the market gets violated it was making high highs high lows and then all of a sudden that gets violated you come out of the trade so guys without uh further ado let's get into the chart so this is our chart um Take. so this is our chart so what you need to do this is our euro jpy on 30 minutes time frame so what i see or what you need to 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 see is where there's a rejection of let's say more than five to seven candles so as we can see here we can come here we can see there has been a rejection of so many candles for about 30 minutes remember when you're in 30 minutes time frame one candle represents 30 minutes so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so 12 candles have rejected this zone so that's one indication that's what we want we want to see a place where there is a rejection of these candles the buy market is being rejected and in our in our argument we want to sell this market because there's no way more than how many hours let me see from this place all the way for 12 uh, for six good hours the price has been rejecting this zone so we can have this as a small zone we can have it as a small zone and this zone remember it it is the one that is guiding us to go to one minute and find an entry and remember when you are a scalper is just to end to enter the trade and come out of the trade so now you have identified your zone you have identified your zone and you know this is a rejection if this rejection was downside let's say if it was on the downside like it was here on the downside we would be looking for buy opportunity because the the sellers have been rejected now the buyers are the ones who are being rejected so we are looking for a uh, sell opportunity so in this place now you go to you go down to uh you go down to one minute time frame because you have seen your rejection now you're anticipating the price action guys now here you're just anticipating the price action so let's go to one minute time frame so this we are now in a one minute time frame remember we were seeing some rejections on this time frame you can see this uh, zone has been tested about six hours so when it comes to this place this place is interesting first of all 
it has touched how many times? It touched the same, same place, one, and then it came touched again, two, then it came touched the third time. This is what we are looking for. We are looking where one minute will touch the same zone because this is the same zone more than three times. And then now we apply our price action. Guys, if you don't know about price action, it's something like this. So uh, we, have, we have these two lines. So if buyers, uh, if we are anticipating for a sell, uh, uh, a sell, we just need this, this, the buyers have pushed the market, they have created a new high, and then maybe the sellers took over, and then they created a, a high low. Then what we are anticipating is when the buyers try to push the market, they don't create another high high. Because when you they create another high high, it means buyers have more power in the market. What you are trying to see is when the buyers are unable to push the market and uh, to, to take out this high and they create a low high. This is our entry, guys. Remember, this market has been touched quite some few times. So it is one, two, and then we are now looking for the price action of a low high for us to enter the market. And this happens so fast because this is a one minute time frame. And as you can see, the buyers were, were coming to the same place. And this is a span of, let me see, a span of 50 minutes. So something happened so quickly. And now this is our area. So the buyers, the buyers took this market up. The sellers did not take it down. So the minute the buyers try again and they were unable to create a they were unable to create a high high. That's our entry, guys. And remember, in this strategy, you need to be very careful. If it violates any of the rules of high highs, high lows, or low lows and low highs, you just come out of the market. So our entry would be this point after now the red candle has formed. So let me just delete that. So our entry should be this point. After now this candle has been formed, that's our entry. And then our stop loss is this high, the, uh, just above that high. And then remember guys, we are targeting how many pips? 25 pips. So uh, let me see how many 25 pips up to where. So 25 pips is up to that place. So when you're scalping, you just target 25 pips. That's our target. So I don't know if we could have hit our target. Yes, because you see, so that's what you need to understand. So you target 25 pips because the stop loss will be very, very small. It will be very, very tight. The stop loss was just how many pips? The stop loss was six pips. So this is something that you can try. You can, you are, it's a, a, a ratio, risk reward ratios of, of one is to four. So this is something that you need to try out, but you're just following price action. If we can see for sure, if we can first, um, if we can uh, bring that down, you can see uh, buyers, they they continued uh, to be weak and weak in this market. So the buyer tried to push the market, but what did the seller do? The sellers continued creating low lows. And when the sellers are creating low lows, it means that the buyers have been defeated. So the buyers were trying to create, to, to, create, to come in the market, they were creating low highs. And they, that is why our confidence is coming because this is price action. The buyers have been uh, defeated. So because we are on the sell, all we need to see is that the sellers are continuing to create low lows and low highs. And at this moment, you see at this moment, even after it hit our take profit of 25 pips, what happened, if you can see here, if let's say our take profit was way here, if you're following the price of action of high highs and high lows, you'll start to identify the sellers are being weak in the market. They are getting defeated or they are not able to push the market lower. So when you start seeing this and maybe your, your target was way down here, kindly close the trade because 
it means the price action shows you what really is happening. So if that happens, if the seller starts uh, taking the market in another place, like it's the sellers now they're not able to create new low lows, new low lows, new low lows, and they are creating high highs, high lows, and the buyer seems to be strong, just come out of the market. So because we don't want to risk you, you see, it almost took half of your profit, but it continued to go down. So this is one of the indication to just come out and be safe. So guys, to be, um, to, to just, uh, tell you about this strategy, it doesn't require indicators. It doesn't require moving average. All it requires is you to understand the power of high highs, high lows, and low lows and low highs. That's all you need to understand. And you need first to go to 30 minutes time frame, understand where there is rejection either on the supply or on the demand zone. It can be either way. Then you go now to one minute and look for a place where it is getting tested multiple times. And then now you look for your uh, for your price action for you are either low highs and uh for you are yeah for your low highs if it is sell or for your high highs if it is a buy so thank you so much guys i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing until next time bye bye love you